yeah hi so I already downloaded this uh, 4 GB of ISO file to my system and you can see here I kept it in my software drive okay so it is here so next what I will do is uh, I will install this CentOS file before installation I will go to new and create one virtual box so let me give that virtual box name okay and I will keep machine folder of these two e drive itself okay so because I have uh, some free space in e drive so I'm keeping here okay and I will select here Linux okay there are different uh, platform also but uh, as CentOS is a uh, distribution version of Red Hat itself so I will select here Red Hat we do not see here CentOS okay and CentOS is a open source technology and we can download and use it uh, without any license or anything so its base is uh, Red Hat so we have selected it here Red Hat uh, 64 bit and click on next uh, let me give here 2 GB of RAM ok uh, create virtual disk now because I do not have any existing virtual disk okay RAM here is this much okay okay I will select by default virtual box disk image dynamic allocation and here I will keep 12 GB of size for my CentOS ok so my box is ready there are couple of settings but uh, it is not needed as of now okay we will see this uh, network and all these things we will keep it uh, by default okay and other configuration we will do later so when I press here start button it will ask me for the uh, disk okay so here it is empty so I will select my ISO file here it is I will start booting this ISO file install CentOS
will take some time so 100% disk is verified and we are moving forward for other setup and for keyboard virtual machine if we want to click here we have host machine so when you want to uh, work on Linux machine you will click on this black screen you will get such screen okay so here it is mentioned like right control key is our host key so whenever you want to come out from this window you will uh, click right control key and you will be back to uh, uh, your main windows machine so let me show you uh, this black pointer will show to you okay so this means that uh, you are in a CentOS machine this pointer is working on CentOS machine and if you want to come out of this window you will press uh, right control key so you come out from CentOS machine again if you want to go to CentOS machine you will click on uh, any of the uh, CentOS machine window okay so pointer will be shown here okay so I'm skipping this window till uh, GUI don't came okay and uh, I will start from there yeah so GUI window came back okay so I will select here English and United States English you can select your preferred language So the second screen I will select here date and time so I am from India so I will select here India okay time will be selected automatically done keyboard I, I will choose United States you can choose as per your convenience okay so installation source I will keep default so it is CentOS machine software selection I will choose here server with GUI because I want a GUI platform installation destination I will select whatever it is selected as a default I'm not changing it now here it should be checked as automatical configure partitioning
okay so let's begin installation is now blue uh, we are not doing anything with network as of now we'll keep it default security policy is also default we go for installation so installation is started okay we will set up a root password okay so I have set up root password and I will create one user also I have created one user and set up root password so this installation is in progress 